welcome to Kamikaze all year long. Yay, Yay more applause, because we like to hear applause. Uh, I'm your host, Keith Trailings. Uh, this is my other co-host, Jonathan London. Hi. Say how are you doing? From Geekscape. Uh, John Schnepp is embedded with the Trump campaign. We don't know when we'll see him again. Uh, <laughs> So, uh, and, and with us, our first guest, we have tons of great guests in this yeah. show, but we're gonna just jump right in. Our first guest, please let me introduce to you from Spartacus, from The Flash, Mr. Liam McIntyre. Let's hear it, Liam. Hey. How Hello. you doing? I'm doing just great. Excellent. Well, here at uh, Kamikaze Expo all year long, we don't, we don't do the plug thing. We jump right into the news. <laughs> We're going to do the plug the news. Uh, don't, sure. Don't no, leave. no, no, no. I'm going to pull the plug. But We're this is a hard-hitting journalistic endeavor. All right. Well, I'll, I'll put on my good tie then. All right. Well, let's, yeah. let's get straight into it. Uh, in the last couple weeks, the G Game of Thrones released an actual trailer with I know. footage. Did you see it? Months of not doing that. <laughs> yeah, I know. And it had Jon Snow in it, but he was still dead. So what do you think? Yeah. But but did you do you know did you guys see the the hidden Jon Snow in it? What happens with you, Keith, is you'll play these trailers like 19 times, and your yes. your wife will be like, "Come to bed." You'll be like, "I don't have a family anymore," <laughs> and you'll just watch these damn trailers. You, like you'll look for like these little Easter eggs, and I'm like, "Dude, just wait for the show to come out." But uh, you ca I, I can't because I'm obsessed, and this is my thing. Your life is falling apart. It, I, I, and I say more nice. of it. Okay, yes, I say sure. more of it. <laughs> but, no, but but there is a scene. There is one you can okay. see. It. If you don't blink. Snow, there's a fight scene, and Jon Snow is on a horse behind uh, during the fight. No, you see he's him not. clearly. No, you see he's him not. clearly. It is totally I him. See, I saw two dead Jon Snows and no living Jon Snow. Dude, Snow. I think no, I see Jon Snow in Echo Park like every week. <laughs> <laughs> it's, the whole, it's, it's the whole like long hair. I know, it's Westeros like, hipsters. Come on, that's man. all it is. <laughs> That would, Dude. Yeah, well, that's just bringing the smell of vision of, of yeah, Game of Thrones to life. You have to, go to, you have to go to Echo Park to have that experience. John Snow was like, hey, man, you collect vinyl? I was like, get, the, get away from me. <laughs> so, so I mean, ran, I think. I'm going right. to put you on the spot here. So, <laughs> yeah. so you, Liam McIntyre, think John Snow is dead. Ah, uh, okay, that's tough. I, I don't want him to be, I think he is dead, but I'm like, all the great, wonderful theories that he's not dead are so fascinating that I, I just want them to be right. What's yours? Uh, what was my theory? Yeah, what is your specific theory? That he's dead? No, 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 um, what's yours? Like, what's gonna, what's gonna happen? <laughs> well, no, like, I want him to be like the, 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 this, like, all, like, the Targaryens, like, you know, it's, it's a, it's, he, what, hang on, which way, is he the dragon? No, he's not, there's a dragon, and there's the, come on, help me yeah, out. Yeah, yeah, he's the wolf. Say, well, well, no. There's the, there's the dragon. There's the Targaryen. There's, there's the right? Stark. You talking the about wolf, Voltron? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. The he, lion. he turns into a giant yeah. like sword and yeah. then fights it's the Voltron. fights like, the yeah, white the lions the I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. I spoke okay. to. Okay, what's your yeah. theory? What's your theory? Like he's a Stark. Like what's your? Well, theory? I presume he's gonna hook up with uh, with um, Daenerys. Daenerys Targaryen, and 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 if you know if he was to live. Right. And and turn into you know because the his um, this slash fiction you're writing what is this no this is pulp fiction okay. Um, okay. the sequel uh, okay. no um, it's yeah, I don't know it, it, I, it's just uh, I don't know I feel like he's dead what was your what was your <laughs> <laughs> that's a long way to get around I know I, I said I that in stop and then you were like no no tell me what your yeah, theory is I'm like please. beyond him dead I he's dead know. so what was your big takeaway from the trailer I just it's it's always hard for me to like. Uh, Every year of Game of Thrones, I go from not liking it to liking it to not liking it because it's just, I don't know, maybe I get too attached to the Starks and I've just never let that go. And so right. they, as they continue to just destroy the Stark family, I'm like, give me someone to root for. I don't want you to win. Um, but yeah, so um, I don't know. It was so many jump cuts of so many things that I couldn't actually take anything from it that I was like, that's going to be exciting. Um, but I'm really, I'm really good. I'm really glad that... Um, See, now there's so many names. But it was enough to get you to subscribe to HBO. <laughs> yeah. Well, there you go. Then it achieved its goal. Yeah. You got yeah. it. Well, let's move on to something. Let's move on to a happier, more lighter topic. Uh, the Game Batman of Thrones, Killing it can't joke. happen. No, oh, Batman yes. and Killing Joke. It's, it's, what's, your, what's your definition of happiness? Yeah, I, the Joker, he's always smiling. <laughs> he's always okay. smiling. All right. All right. So they announced the uh, Batman and the Killing Joke animated movie. So Are we excited? excited? Yes. So you're a Batman fan? Uh, the, not, I'm obviously not the biggest Batman fan. That's probably saying too much. I'm a very big Batman fan, and The Killing Joke is phenomenal. So, um, as everyone that likes Batman knows. So, uh, it's, that's exciting. And The me. Killing Joke has, like, everything in it. Yeah. It's got murderous... It's Midgets, just it's got so, I know, body it's, parts getting lopped off. And it's like, I, it's, I just like the, 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 
journey that he puts Batman uh -huh. on. It's just so exciting. I just can't wait. To I just see realized Game of Thrones also has murderous midgets in body parts. <laughs> and you said this is yeah. happier. <laughs> it's basically you Batman. Said this is <laughs> happier. What, what makes me happy about this is that I think the two best people who have performed the Joker and Batman are returning for this. Oh, Kevin yes. Conroy and your boy Mark Hamill, who you uh, saw. Yeah. Was, that, was that confirmed? I didn't hear that. Yeah, yeah. both Mark They're Hamill and Kevin Conroy oh, are voicing Batman so and Joker. Great. Is the audience excited about this? It's awesome. The home audience better be excited about this too. I, I, I just spoke to Mark Hamill and was like, oh man, I hope you're in this Batman thing. He's like, ah, no, 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 I haven't had any calls. I'm like, yes, you've had all the calls. You're lying to me. You said you weren't in Star Wars. Yeah, either. I know, I know. I just found that out. He's really good in that. <laughs> I, I don't know what you're talking about. Uh, <laughs> it's a big movie. You should check it out. It's great. So uh, we don't really want to spend all of our time on uh, geeky news because, mm. you know, we're, that's, mm. we obsess over it. Uh, Liam, you've got something uh, special going on. We, we don't know if you know about it, but um, Liam is, a, is an entrepreneur in addition yeah. to being a world-class actor. And geek. And uh, yeah. he's yep. created something. It's on Kickstarter. you got three days left. There's only three days left. I know. So tell us about it. Okay. Uh, what, what, uh, it's what called got? Monster Lab. Yeah, let's move away from geeky topics like the killing jokes <laughs> and talk about card games I've made by myself. Nerd. Nerd. Um, yeah, Sorry. I got that a lot at school. Um, <laughs> so this is called uh, Monster Lab, and it's a really fun game. Oh, look, there's, it's up on the screen. Uh, basically, you play as a mad scientist, and you're trying to defeat other mad scientists that, uh, by building monsters out of spare parts and wrecking their day with, like, you know, Cow, like pigs and nine tails and you know like bats to the face there's like, it's, it's a funny thing I, my favorite part is you get to basically take the top middle and bottom part of different monsters and put them together in hopefully hilarious ways and uh, it's a really fun kind of party game there's a version of it that's like a, a like a dumbed down version not dumbed down but like a simpler version scaled for kids it's scaled down that's yeah. that, see you you should it's, be on my marketing team no um, yeah no but it's it's been great it's already like 360% funded which is amazing so so you hit your funding on day 1 day yeah. 1 what does yeah. that feel like i mean yeah, that's, um, that's a yeah I, absolutely was, thanks yeah it was pretty it was pretty amazing like um I was fine. I had like I was going into auditions because it's been pilot season, so I was like, I've learned the lines. Oh look, that's that's <laughs> good. Sorry, what now? Okay, come on, put the phone down. Um, so it's be, it was it was hectic, but it was um, unbelievable. You sort of go, all right, uh, it'd be nice to maybe be able to make this game. We've put I mean, all this work into it. Where'd the idea for the game come from? Like? Funny enough, my my wife's family played this game called Thirty One, which I thought she'd invented, but apparently it's a whole thing. Okay. It's been going for hundreds of years. But um, yeah, it, it was uh, I, I was I. First wanted to make a card game when I was sitting next to, my, um, to um, Nathan Fillion and we were going to go for dinner later on and his queue was four hours long um, at one of the <laughs> convention. I was like, well, better do something because that dinner's going to be a long time. I'll make a card game. Um, so I started making a card game about sword fighting, which I'm still going to make. But um, after a while, I don't know, I just uh, I started played that, that, um, that game with my 31. wife. At, was it? 31. 31. Okay. And, uh, and it was just because it was all about like getting suits, the, the same suits and the like, combinations of three and... It kind of was iterating on that, and I was like, I like monsters. I like, you know, there's horror films and stuff. You can combine those, you can make them into monsters, and you can combine them different ways. And I guess I, I was playing a lot of, like, Cards Against Humanity and stuff like that, and it was just the idea of making hilarious monsters that look ridiculous. And what do you do? You exciting. make them, you get dealt the cards, and then yeah. you battle each other with the yeah, monsters? Ultimately, yeah, so ultimately, ultimately can... you're building monsters, and they'll have monsters, and you use your monsters to fight their monsters and wreck mm. their monsters and win. It's great. That sounds like a right? Monster Friday fights. night for me. Who are yeah. the real monsters in your life? Uh, really? Do you want to get dark on this? All right. Well, there was this teacher I had <laughs> I in year hey, four. Hey, and I he's, he's, a, he's this card. I, 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 the, I, the rumor I heard was you thought of the game when you were a kid because you used to go out and is it true you used to uh, uh, trap neighborhood kids? Eat children, yeah. Yeah, is that right? <laughs> that's absolutely, that's a fact. I'm, I'm surprised that left Australia. I really tried to cover it up. My publicist like, is terrible. There's like a, a rampant wave of missing pets in the neighborhood? Uh, is that there's the, a lot. Okay. That's actually not, it's not uncommon in Australia. There's many people that do that. Okay, so it's kind of so are we always going to imply that our guests are mass murderers? Hey, you can bring John so back. So give, give nerds a, 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 a hopeful, a hopeful <laughs> hand out here. Uh, you did you play one. like Magic the Gathering or Pokemon or Yu-Gi-Oh when you were younger? Well, actually, no. I was, I was for a punks. huge video game like nut. I, I played everything from the Commodore 64 onwards and like, and um, I was playing Monopoly with my dad, but then like writing my, our own rules so that it'd be more complicated. So it'd be like, all right, so in every turn, it's like amortize this property. And it was very complicated for like a nine-year-old. <laughs> but uh, good for my commerce job. Uh, but yeah, no, I, it's, I, I guess I've just been a nerd my whole life. I mean, I was, I was the kid that used to get beat up for his lunch money. So, <laughs> like, like, this will fix that. 
They'll, they'll, they'll look at them now. Liam, we speak your name. That's great. You played, <laughs> but you didn't, like, what happened? You played Spartacus. Like, you got buff, you got real. Yeah, there was, a, there was a solid period, like, when I just got Spartacus that I was like, I'm going to go back and kick the ass of every kid. No, who I don't know, no, where I was like, I better look cool. Oh. Because people are going to, they're going to be like, he's not cool. This, this guy's not a gladiator. And so I was like, oh, yeah, video games are fine, whatever, you know. Yeah, I've, I've, I've dabbled. Um, but yeah, so, like, and then after a while, I was like, nah, screw it, I'll be me. And, um, but yeah, there was that window where you were playing Spartacus and you were like, I'm going to go back home, I'm going to beat up all the people who beat me up, I'm going to take every babe for my own. Every one I'm, of them. Right. Yeah, my wife wasn't on, all, on board with that at all. Oh, but, she wasn't. Um, but the idea was great. No, it yeah. was, um, Wives put a it was amazing. Around, just after I got Spartacus, we had a 10-year ten, ten anniversary mm -hmm. at, at school, which I, I this, what's it called? Your reunion. reunion. That's yeah. it. Yeah, not anniversary. We're not married. It's okay. Marketing um, time. <laughs> awkward. Who's yeah. your marketing guy now? Yeah, yeah. Do you want, do you want to say yeah. anything? Yeah. Um, yeah, no, he's gone. He's okay. gone. He's done. I fired me. No, it's... <laughs> yeah, and, and I got to go back, and all the guys that used to beat me up, they were gross. Yeah. And, they had, and, they, and they had nothing going on. And I was like, well, I happen to be Spartacus. Um, you guys into card games? the game? greatest feeling in the world. Yeah, yeah. Everyone want to play a card game? You oh, guys, no, don't hit me, don't hit me, don't hit me. You guys into making monsters? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that, you said you're a big video gamer. Yep. And, um... Are you currently living your video game dream in any way? Through a way? segue of some kind? Yeah, maybe, yeah. Um, maybe it's a little. It's funny story. I'm glad you mentioned it. Um, actually, it's, it's about the coolest thing in the world. Uh, again, if you can imagine a five-year-old that used to play video games all the time, probably should have done schoolwork. But um, I just uh, they just announced that I'm the new lead of Gears of War. Holy shit. <laughs> You're like breaking news. Yeah. Um, wow. Which... I say just announced, I've been recording it for like a year and a half, so I've known about it. But it's, um, dreams do come true. Um, <laughs> yeah, Disney was right. Well, how much um, can you tell us about like the plot of it, or uh, who yeah, do you play? What, what's your story I play J.D. Phoenix, which is the son of Marcus Phoenix from oh. all the other games. Um, and it's, it's set 25 years in the future on the same planet, uh, after all the locusts have been destroyed by the emulsion stuff that happened in the end of the Gears of War 3. There's a lot of stuff that happens that I'm step into dangerous territory if I talk about it and probably get fired. So sure. let's leave that dream. But it's um, it's like I've got to play it. They're already like into like it's 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 so far into development. You can play through a bunch of it, and it's just so fun. Can it's you give us so your, uh, your 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 best like grumbly voice? Like what kind of voice mm. do you have in it? Oh no, I mean I get to, I get to speak like you know he's he's got a regular speaking voice. Not like know? not like Marcus. No, I tried to do that, like, and they were like, like, no, no, don't do it. And I was like, but my like, father yeah. died. My father died without no. ever having a lozenge. Yeah, I know. <laughs> my, my goal is to get to that. Like, if, if, I, if I'm yeah. lucky enough to be in it long enough, then I'll yeah. be eventually be like, no, nah, by the Gears of War 10, I'll <laughs> be like, no. Nah. Yeah. What, what, what does it sound like when you get a headshot when you're dead? Nice! Um, no, that's, again, no. that's my dad. Um, no, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, gross, <laughs> no. bud. Um, no, we actually, we, I was just, yeah. It's a different Gears game. Gears of War 4 is a different yeah, game. Yeah, it's a very different it's game. It's a crocheting challenge. Yeah. 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 Oh, so, uh, <laughs> oh, oh, now he's in half. Oh, someone clean it up, clean it up, clean it up. He throws up a lot. But what does it sound um, like when you die? Yeah, like, oh, okay, so there's, okay, well, no, to be yeah. fair, there's like, I've had to record deaths of like, uh, one was like, so your flame, they, they, they hit you with a flamethrower and you die slowly. Okay. They hit you with a flamethrower and you die quickly. They hit you, they, they put a flamethrower inside you and then you die. And you're like, okay, so it's like, and you're, you're vomiting flame. Inside so like, you. <laughs> Not like that. Okay. Not like I, that. I, it's again. It's not. I it's, was gonna buy the game. Yeah, I know. I know your games. You have a history. Yeah, <laughs> that's only in it. Eastern Europe. Um, no, it's automation. Yeah, yeah, there's a bunch of stuff that it's it's it's, that it's a hard arc. But that's not like an expansion pack or like it DLC. It may be. I'll talk to Rod Ferguson. Yeah, and I'll be like, hey, Rod. A lot of people want people to be violated in the game. <laughs> yeah, and so, then, um, but then they run the machine. Yeah, and then the they thing. run the machine gun from yeah. the inside. Maybe the flames come out your mouth. Who knows? It could be a party. Yeah, it's a Liam gun. Yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be like Mad Max 2. Um, so um, so you, you, you've been in gear of, Gears of War, Spartacus. Yeah, because uh, the Weather Wizard and the, the Flash. The Weather Wizard and the Flash. There's so much. We, we, we've got to move on, but i got to ask you one last question before yes. we go. Uh, is there a role that you really, really want? I mean, you've kind of lived the dream in a lot of ways. Is there something that's missing from your If you uh, have a copy law? of Ben Affleck's face... And I could put it on and be Batman for a little while. That'd be pretty good. Batman. So Batman's it. All right. Yeah, be, so, so in the movie yeah. Batman v Superman, you might have heard it was coming out this week. What? Uh, I hope it does. Well. Are you siding with Batman? Yeah. There we go. Superman. No. Awesome. Thumbs down. All right. Well, well you're a psychotic you're who uh, likes to beat people I just, up. Yeah. Okay. I had a rough yeah, childhood. No. We got it. <laughs> cool. Uh, Monster Lab. Where do we find? Yeah. The, just the check it out on Kickstarter. You got three more days. It's a lot of fun. There's uh, we we got to play it with like people like Smosh Games. So if you want to see how it plays, uh, we've done some really cool things. So. 
Um, it's been amazing. If there are backers watching, thanks for backing it so much. And if you want to get on board, you've got three more days. It's a lot of and, fun. And there's a kamikaze reward level, I believe. You are totally right. <laughs> um, see, you're very good at this. Your memory is, again, you two can be on the team. Uh, yeah, so like, courtesy of you guys, we actually Our have, we already, one's already gone. We've got two special kamikaze packs. Uh, one of them is, uh, one of them's still available, so someone's already got one of them. But if you want to get on board, there's a kamikaze pack where you get like four tickets to kamikaze. You get to go to the, the Halloween ball. There's a, there's a merch basket. It. There's the game, which is thrown in just cause seemed appropriate. Just cause. Um, but yeah, yeah. So and yeah. you, uh, and, and, and then you, you can throw me in there. Yeah, no, I, I, no, yeah, of course. If you come to Kamikaze, I'll be like, hey, let's talk. Let's have an intimate, close chat, and like really close. And I'll be like, hey, you like the game? Yeah, buddy. <laughs> let's play it. You will feel more pressure than you've ever. You want to yeah. see? You want to see a trick with and a flamethrower? Yeah, I know. Like uh, it's this <laughs> thing I learned on Gears of War. It's gonna be gross. Hey. That won't be creepy at all. You dropped no, a quarter. I hope so because <laughs> I'm really going for creepy. Well, Liam, thank you so much for coming by Thanks, and visiting man. us. How about it? Let's give it up for Liam. Nice having you here. And we're going to throw out a Bernadette. Thanks, man. She's Thanks, got some man. stuff going on online. Let's see what's going on with the online crowd chat room. Bernadette. So the chat room's just getting started, and everyone's saying congratulations, Liam, on reaching your goal in your first day on Monster Lab. So that's exciting. Yeah. And just a reminder, if you want to go back him, you've got three more days. So go check it out on Kickstarter, Monster Lab. So let's go help him out and reach the next goal. We also have some fun conversations coming up, or people have been asking me questions for our next guest, so don't worry, I will be getting to those. But if you have a question, make sure to tweet me at using the hashtag AskKamikaze so I can write down your question and hopefully ask it to one of our guests. I'm gonna be giving away some prizes later, so stay tuned. We've got some Electro Kids, we've got some robots, and I've got a super secret prize for an audience member who's active and wants to talk to me in the chat room if you wanna say you're here in the audience just saying super secret and fun so make sure you're following at the stream tv and at stanley kamikaze for all your kamikaze all year long updates and info and fun things if you want to follow me i'm at miss bernadette b that's ms bernadette b because i'm on my twitter right now but i'm also looking at the hashtag ask kamikaze so i can get all your questions but you might not want to ask me <laughs> certain questions, what people are smelling like. I can guarantee you they all smelled amazing. That was some of the questions. And uh, yeah, we're going to just keep keep rolling. And let's see, what else do I got? Let's see, has anyone asked any questions? Um, oh, another thing that came up is we want Batman Liam. Let's get that going. We want Batman Liam, so let's get that happening. <laughs> that was in the chat room, so that would be fun. Um, we're super excited about movies coming up this weekend, and yeah, so keep sending me your questions, and I'm going to throw it back to you guys, Keith and Jonathan. Woo! Thank you, Bernadette. Woo! Thanks, Woo! Bernadette. Now, when you said movies this weekend, you're talking about a Big Fat Greek Wedding, too? Totally. That's, That's the exactly one? what movie I'm talking no, it, about. I, I, it's uh, Feeling Blue, the, you know, the... <laughs> I don't know that. There's man. no other interesting. Well, there's movie a movie called out. Get a Job. I'm gonna go see. Take tickets to. I don't know that movie at all. I want to see Liam as Batman on Dancing with the Stars. <laughs> there's only so many hashtags I can create. Well, let's, let's see how many we can do. Uh, Bernadette, you're you're on the clock, baby. Let's see what you can do. Now, uh, Bernadette went with you to Vegas. She did. In that little uh, reel you guys played, did anybody get a uh, glimpse of Bernadette what she was wearing in her cosplay outfit? A little, uh, you said a little Wonder, Wonder Woman, Woman bikini. I, I, I may have been wearing my Woo! burlesque Wonder Woman tiara and bracers with a, a Wonder Woman bikini. Bikini. Damn. <laughs> and there were others too. I, all the ladies were wearing bikinis. Yeah, but they're not here right now. We're gonna talk about Bernadette. <laughs> <laughs> what? So why'd you bring it up? Because I, I, I was clicking through the photos. I, for some reason, I wasn't invited. But uh, I, Ooh, no, shade. It, it, I think for many reasons I wasn't invited. <laughs> but I was clicking the photos and I was like, Bernadette, damn! I saw that photo. I was like, Bernadette, you look great. Oh, you guys were having you. fun. You were wearing your mankini. That I was, was good. Yes. That was uh, nice. It was don't, Wonder Woman also. Don't do it. <laughs> Maybe Bernadette will uh, show do us. It. Anyway, well, hey, <laughs> let's introduce our next guest. Right. They're sitting here waiting for us to talk I'm to sorry, we'll talk about uh, her. I'm sorry, Nate, Chris. These are the Rydell brothers. You guys may know yes. them for their popular YouTube channel. And recently, they've uh, launched a collaboration with our very own Stan Lee. Uh, this is some kind of evil. It's like your take on like a superhero story. Yeah, it was yeah. a cool opportunity. We know we normally make like really weird, quirky comedy stuff about long, elaborate fart jokes, so it was a nice... Very sophisticated. You know, sophisticated no, highbrow art. art. Yeah. Um, well, there, yeah, there's definitely an art to that. that there takes, is, yeah, yeah. Training. Oh, absolutely. And, uh, <laughs> that is art. It, it's training. It's not a, there's not an art to it. That is art. It right, is right. art. Um, but it was our chance to kind of dabble into uh, a, darker, a darker world and sort of our take on what it would be like. It kind of actually came out of a conversation of like, 
What would it be like if you were actually saving people continually and human beings doing the same thing over and over How and over? How sick would you get? As a yeah, you'd be basically. pretty burned out and depressed really quick. Well, uh, things are. Uh, we'll talk about a little bit of geek news like we did with Liam. Uh, but you guys are filmmakers, so we're going to take a little film take on it. Uh, what you know, the screening room controversy with yeah. that Nate Parker, uh, Sean Parker, Sean Parker created uh, right. f- uh, tw- Napster. Uh, Napster. Napster, yeah. Remember Napster. and. That's uh, that's <laughs> now he's got this idea for the screening room in what is it? It's a box that you buy for $150, install it in your home, yeah. Yeah. and then for $50, 50 bucks, yeah, you, you get, get to essentially when the when the film comes out, you get a, a simultaneous like access to like a the day film. and date release. Maybe it'll right, be yeah. in theaters, but it'll also be in your living room, right? Yeah, on this box that you've installed. Which is that it, kind of happening now already I mean, a little the, bit? It, it, it actually still, happens for studios. Movies, what do you yeah. Yeah. Well, the studios actually, each studio actually has that set up so that they can screen stuff um, just as normal normal process. Yeah. But this is this would be commercial commercialized as right. filmmakers. Yeah. Right. Theoretically, you're going to have a big blockbuster soon. Yeah. Like yes. any day now. Sure. It's yes. happening. So what do you think of that? Because that could impede, you know, your film. Uh, yeah. I, we've been talking about it quite a bit because yeah. it is. It, these kinds of things are always interesting, the dist- different distribution models that exist now that are kind of popping up and changing so much. And, you know, it's, I think the general conclusion that at least I know we kind of have is that I don't know if it's going to fully take away the audience from the theater that would, uh, that would go to the movies. I think the people that are going to buy this type of thing and buy this type of device are going to be, because it, it, it's not cheap, you know, it's 150 bucks, right. and it's 50 bucks for the movie. So if you're going to spend $50 on a movie, you're probably not type of person that like uh, can't go to the movies or won't go to the movies. You want another type of experience. You and you probably have like a really great screening room in your house. Exactly. Right. You're talking so, about like an upper tier consumer. Exactly. Right. So I don't I don't feel like it's gonna like you know sever the market in terms of like stealing people from the movie theaters. I think it's just gonna open up a new type of market, which in, in some ways is actually kind of exciting. Um, yeah. You know, I don't know all the details on it. I know the whole piracy thing is is an issue that, that they're talking about quite a bit with it, but I know it's already an issue. So yeah, for like, fifty dollars, you don't have to pirate a movie anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so, so just so if, in in the world of fur it or again it, you guys are almost fur. I say almost fur. More fur. I mean, both sure. the movies we've made, neither one of them hit the theaters. They yeah. both were direct to so Netflix. Screw those so, studio guys. Like, you know, I, I love the theaters. Love theaters. <laughs> but we still go see yeah. movies in the theater, so it's like, yeah, a, like I guess it's by. Experience like right. yeah. the Revenant was definitely like you're gonna go you're gonna, uh, you see it in the exactly. theater. The biggest screen you can. Cause biggest it's, screen, it's biggest sound system, yeah. exactly. biggest thing. Yeah. Right. Well, speaking of, of live uh, audiences, <laughs> groups of people doing things together. Sure. Uh, the Walking Dead. <laughs> sure. I, I'm the king of second. I'm picking up what you're putting down, brother. That was great. But uh, yeah, The Walking Dead is getting an attraction at Universal, <laughs> and it's not just Halloween Horror Nights. This well, is, no, this, so is like a, this is like a year-round thing. That's crazy. Thing. And it's uh, going to open up this summer. So oh, exciting. It's soon. And this isn't just Harry Potter? No, it's supposed no. to be this summer. It's I'm happening. I'm kidding. Oh, sorry. Maybe it is Harry Potter. <laughs> uh, it's like, it's everybody walking out of Harry Potter, and they're yeah. just like... They're confused Harry and scared. Yeah. Yeah. And then, is that open last week? Uh, sure. What have you done for me lately? Too. But uh, what's it gonna, what's gonna, what's gonna be a part of this? What's, what's gonna entail? Well, my understanding, I mean, they built... Have you been through the Walking Dead mazes at any of the Halloween no, no, not unfortunately, yet. Unfortunately, no. I have. Scared you. And Your yeah, nation. I've, pants. I've, I've had to get new pairs, new pants. It's, it's <laughs> great for the... Yeah. The retail for the boxer shorts, but um, <laughs> but my I, I believe because they, they've really recreated the set piece from each season, and I oh, think nice. they're going to put them all together so that you can walk through this thing and fully experience like the whole walk. So like how story. fully though? Like is this it is gonna, something we've been talking? We had about. a serious yeah. conversation. Like okay, the, I read that the makeup and the effects are going to be like on par, you know, with the show. Right. Are they going to smell like rotting corpses? Is it going to smell like a huge fart factory? We need the, I, we want, we want need the immersive like, I want to know, like, is, is that going to happen? Like I don't death. know if, if they're doing smell o vision Because they should. But I do know that for part of the, uh, part of the ride, you have to go find Carl. Oh, really? Oh. Yes. Oh, oh damn it, cool. Carl. Exactly. <laughs> Come on, Where'd Carl. Go? I, I think the set piece I want is like the fourth episode of season one where they found those cholos running the old folks' home. <laughs> and they never went back to that storyline. That one episode, one episode was, like a, it was like a bunch of cholos running an old folks' home. And I was like, yeah, they're not going to turn into zombies immediately. What are you guys doing? <laughs> yeah, what is they never happening? went back. I just wanted no, to like cut back to that old folks' home. The entire and there are a bunch of cholos just getting chewed on by grandmas. You know, it's like, oh, we wrapped up that storyline. Um, so guys, let's talk about your film work. Uh, this new thing, uh, where did this come from? This some kind of evil? I mean, people are really responding to it. That's got to feel good. Yeah, yeah it does, no, it's actually. nice. Go ahead. No, you go ahead. Okay, no, no, no you go ahead. No, Chris, go ahead. Keep Make up. Was this, is this, is this uh, what you guys were like as kids? Uh, no, right it was there. a lot more violent. Well, <laughs> he was a lot bigger than me for quite a while. Still kind of is. Not really. So no. he would beat the crap out of me until, uh, basically, I realized one day I should probably stop 
pushing him and fighting him because it hurts a lot. So then I was like, oh, let's learn how to be friends, right? Well, then Girl, we decided to fight man, yeah. other people. Yeah, then, so once we realized, like, just stop fighting each other and then turn, you know, outwards, we got a lot more done. A lot more done. Um, like but, some kind of evil. Yes. Segway. Segway. There Perfect. you go. That Flew was awesome. Wait, which one am I talking to right now? I don't know. I know, it's confusing. <laughs> okay, so, so where did this idea come from? <laughs> really, where it came from was that conversation about Honestly. what would it be like to be a superhero okay. and having to deal with people doing the same thing over and over again. And we started working with uh, the YouTube space LA and Yuka and Pow Entertainment and, of course, the wonderful Stan Lee. There was this opportunity to, like, hey, we have this huge set. What do you guys want to do? And we kind of came up with this idea of a burned out superhero who's kind of like lost everything, really over it, lost his like moral compass and what it would be like for him to get back up again. And kind of meeting this guy already in that phase, not yeah. seeing him fall. You know, he's, we just, we meet him as a character and he's already burned he's out. He's a drunk. He's, he's a drunk. Burned out. Yeah, he's like, yeah. It's not, not really saving people. I mean, killing people now, you know, like the moral code yeah. of superheroes, they don't kill people. He's killing, I mean, he's just like, you suck, I kill you. You know, like that. Right. Kind of yeah. So, it kind of came from that, and yeah. then uh, you suck. I you sick. I, a, I don't even know. I'm, I'm the same words. But then it, it came from that, and then um, started as like a short, a short film that we were like, this would be a cool scene we could do here in the space that we were given. And then we actually fell in love with the idea and just kept shooting and shooting and shooting until yeah. we created more of like a, uh, uh, what is it called? Uh, I think more of just like a like a proof of concept. Of that like, was like a twenty. The, would you call it a pilot? I mean, yeah, yeah it's kind of like a pilot. Yeah. So right now, our, our, all of our people and team and agents and people are team. trying to team the whole thing. The whole, the whole thing. thing. Oh, they're professionals. Oh, they're professionals. Oh, wow. and you're professional. Well, yes, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm like they're. I mean, we're you are tie. Clearly. Look, look, I did it. <laughs> we ate Philly cheesesteaks before we got here, though, so we're only so. It's okay. Why? So smell of vision. If it was real, oh, we're sorry, our breath is strong. But you're nice and full. Yeah, exactly. Gaseous. But the 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 exciting thing is, is that they, they're excited about it and so are we and I, I feel like it's something that we want to turn into an episodic and yeah. hopefully it lives somewhere really exciting that we can, you know, our fans really responded to it. Um, yeah, it's always nice to have, you know, the YouTube the YouTube audience to kind of test things on and be like, we made this, do you like it? Who, who's out there that likes it? And yeah. the response was actually great. So. Yeah, like a, what I loved about it was it, it kind of uh, explores the same stuff. Did you ever read Mark Wade's like Irredeemable? And, and I have not, like, no. Like it's a sort of gray area. But a friend of ours mm -hmm. yeah, that, yeah. said the exact same thing, it's and like, somehow also the tick, some in a weird tick, sort of way. Uh, if you guys like those kind of weird, Ooh, like, like yes. bottomed Spoon. out, um, John R. Cootie wrote one called A God Somewhere, where it's like a guy oh, is like, nice. he, gets some, he would be a god somewhere, but on this earth, he, <laughs> yeah. he doesn't know how to handle these powers, and they get away from him. And That's that awesome. Was, more threat, but you know, this is this is Kamikaze. We kind of roll deep on this. I love that. No, yeah, it's no, fantastic. It's How do you guys differentiate, like the the delegate the the duties on set, like directing, set? writing? Uh, well, okay, so on set it kind of splits half halfway down the middle. I come more from like a, a production background. Mm -hmm. I, I did DP work and uh, also post production editing and things. And Chris started uh, more as a writer and an actor. So like on set when we're dealing with you know all the craziness that set is, a lot of times I kind of break off and deal with crew and our DP and all that. And he, Manages the wonderful acting people. Yeah, sure. And but it's co-directing. It's co-directing, yeah, yeah. and then a lot of times it you know it crosses and, and we end up. But that's kind of usually our starting point. It's like okay, I'll start here, you start there, and yeah. when we need to, we'll cross and figure it out. But um, it's been it's been a nice journey. It's really like the other half of your brain is operating. You have the exact same sort of like lexicon of weird experiences, so you could just be like, hey, remember that one thing that we watched that one time? Yeah, exactly, that's what I wanted to look like. <laughs> yeah. You don't no. even have to say what no, it is. No, it's no. like, oh, I know where you're going with this, I brother. Know, right? I like put it, it up on screen. Let's yes, do it. Yes. So, so, so with your guys' working relationship, do you find that you can do your job better because there's a whole section of stuff that any other director would have to deal with it? Now you don't. Like not, someone not being trust. psychic? Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Because <laughs> it's like, exactly. uh, yeah. The it, psychic powers we have, it really yeah. helps the directing, you know. Yeah, it might come in handy. It does, it really does. And it's not. it is nice being able to do stuff together because there's, when I can focus on a scene in terms of what we're wanting to get out of the actors, Nick is already working with the camera department, making sure that visually it's what we talked about before, and so it just kind of all comes together in yeah. one nice moment, and, and it's, that, it's a nice know, blend. It, it is, and being able to, you know, we've worked obviously our whole lives together, for better or for worse, it's just yes. how it's been. Uh, there's a there's a level <laughs> yes. of trust there that like I don't I don't it, I believe it would probably be hard to, to gain that level of trust with someone you know that. You, know, you ever see Pacific with. Rim? <laughs> yes. Like, they do it. Never mind. Uh, uh, they, do a, they do a merging. <laughs> it's a, you guys drift compatible? Yeah, yeah, big time. We can uh, drift. That's but, like the shorts and the in features, like, like that's got to be a more exhaustive game when you guys are working on something that's going to be a several weeks shoot. And right. can you guys keep that pace and rhythm? Yeah, no, definitely. That's I think our, our second feature film, <laughs> we were able to sort of delegate better. You know, the first yeah. one was like, we're making a movie. Like, oh, whoa, exactly. what are we doing? That was and, also kind of crazy. I mean, I DP'd. Right. Directed, Chris acted, directed, so that we were like, sure, there was a, a lot, lot happening. happening. The second yeah. time we did it, it was 
We were just directing, which was nice. Which is a much different game because you've got to really get that stamina and that pacing of like every single day, knowing what you're going to do. Yeah. Um, and like for some kind of evil, it sort of evolved over months. And you know, originally I wasn't supposed to play the main character. It was like we just couldn't ask an actor to come Did on board for like, for like <laughs> yeah, three, three or months or for months. free. We're not we going to pay you. Yeah. But Tom yeah, no. Sizemore would have done it. <laughs> yeah, I was thinking. I mean, you guys. I mean, Polly Shore. <laughs> we just, like, listen, if I've got his contact, Polly, call us. Yeah. Great. What I love Actually, about what you guys do, though, is, is you're clearly showing and demonstrating that these little YouTube videos that the kids are doing <laughs> online, there's a craft and a seriousness to this. There's, there's commitment. Yeah. Yeah, Can absolutely. you talk about what people need to do to really achieve the level of quality that you guys are getting and, and, and how you guys are doing it and focusing it on the small screen? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think it's, you know, it's just... I mean, all the same things apply to, to the bigger productions. It's just kind of how our attitude started from the beginning is like, just go make it, regardless of budget, regardless of resources. We just wanted to tell stories, and yeah. so we went and told stories. And we've carried that attitude through, honestly, all the way to our filmmaking, where we, we don't really stop to, you know, try to, like, do it by the book all the time. We don't really, you know, like, let's raise funds, let's get this. It's like, we're just going to make it to our best ability and yeah. make sure that we carry our professional experiences that we right. both have from the pr production world into the smaller things because we realize so many people are watching things in their, on their phones and so many people are watching things in, you know, on their computers that it matters. You know, it's not just a throwaway video. It's like a serious like outlet, a serious yeah. platform that, you know, should be taken seriously, and I know we do. We take it seriously. Yeah, we yeah. treat it like just a regular shoot, no matter what we're doing, even if it's just a weird sketch with wigs. Like it's, we write <laughs> a script. Long fart jokes. Yeah, there's a script. That fart a, joke is script. But your vines are different, right? Like your vines. You are know, like, we vines. We don't really care. <laughs> yeah, really. I, we, you can just scream at the camera for six seconds. It's a vine. That's <laughs> all. Yeah, and you're done. <laughs> oh, yeah, but the, the darker stuff. There's so much like. People, there's so many people trying to add like a mature aspect or a realism aspect <laughs> to superheroes. Like, so, yeah, it's true. Right? true. You got to yeah. change your affect when you say it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> why, why approach uh, superheroes in a darker sense, or you know, what, what appeal do you guys about that aspect of it? I don't know. I think we just always we we always call ourselves sad clowns. So it was just sort yeah. of like I won't be calling you that. Well, you don't want to call us that. Okay. Yeah, that's okay. It's so, okay for you guys to call yourself that. It's not yeah. for somebody else. Be like, to do hey, it. you're uh, a sad clown. It's like, fuck you, man. What did you say? What did you say about my Exactly. That's what happened. Fighting out where we were talking about. Yeah. What did you say? about my brother but I think that was just something that we naturally gravitated towards is, is looking at um, just the darker aspect of it and, and lot, you know like, I think a lot of times too it, humanizing the the superhero is what I think we both find fascinating about right. superhero characters and you know there's just a lot of dark stuff out there and I think just going down that road I don't know it just kind of felt more like I don't know appropriate strong word but like it made more sense to us to like humanize this person and show like the the negative side. Yeah, you were able to see yourself in it. Honestly, a yeah, like because really. Because you guys are goth or what? <laughs> yeah, super. Totally, man, totally. Super. Like with that, after, before I did this, it was just all long and sure. a yeah. lot of makeup. Sure, like, right before I came. Like right. literally five minutes, he just cleaned up. <laughs> I just, you should have just come like that. I know, but I, 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 I think if, if you're gonna spend that much time on something, you have to find some kind of like justification for Always. it. And in yeah. doing that, it's like, dude, I'm gonna do this for months. Right. I have to find something in the real world something to ground that, yeah. me in this fantastical. Agreed. I'm getting an, uh, an alert from do, do, our, do, our do, remote do, do, studio. Do. What's going on there here? There is a fan question oh, over yeah. it. Oh, Bernadette. Bernadette. Ha-ha. <laughs> it's just okay, Bernadette. Okay, we have um, from <laughs> At Nightmare Kids. Yes. When did you both realize that your brother was your ideal film partner? Oh. Um, Wait, the guy's name is Nightmare Kid. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> the goth kids, thing kids is real. With a Z. Oh, I like that. No, hey. With a Z. The Z. Exactly. The Z's to represent the streets. I, I got oh, it. I thought yeah. it was sleep because it's nightmare and in the sleep. sleep. No, oh, I'm smart. with you. I'm with you. I'm down um, with Nightmare Kid. So, <laughs> so, when did we realize that we are perfect film partners yes. for each other? I think really we started making videos, like claymation videos, with our grandpa's. Um, like, like old straight to VHS. VHS camcorder. It just kind of unfolded naturally. It was like, let's make weird stuff. Here it is. Okay. You You're, said old VHS. Yeah. I, I know. Hate you. I know. Well, it's for us on YouTube. I we are like you. old men. We like, have to do this. And you guys, you guys, <laughs> you, guys uh, you guys never found some of Grandpa's old like home movies? No, <laughs> no. We tried to stay away from that box. No, that was the scary box. Yeah, it was like, like, okay. Yeah. No, yeah, it actually yeah. glowed green. Oh, turn it off. Don't look. All right. So let's not talk about stag films. Yeah. Let's talk about Stan Lee. Yes. That's a segue. Oh, uh, so you guys is. worked with Stanley. How did yeah. it come?
come about, and what was it like? And I said about like I was uh, Canadian. I was confused. I thought for one second. Wait, are you Canadian? Okay. Again, that was that was all thanks to Power Entertainment and Yuka. They made the connection, and Yuka is Yuka Kobayashi. Yes, who we've often referenced on the show because she doesn't hook me up with the cool stuff. Okay. She hooks me up. I get all these. Yes. And Keith says cool stuff. He means cocaine. Yes, always. That's cool. Cool stuff. Or vanilla protein powder. All right. Uh, deal. <laughs> so anyway, so, sorry. And no, anyways, we basically we wrote, wrote the script and then uh, we got to actually direct him in like a classic Marvel cameo. And we also got to meet with him before we shot. But not Marvel for the, no, no, for no, the no, lawyers no. out for there. For the lawyers. Right? No, no, not right. Marvel, no. but Marvel-like? Marvel-esque? Marvel yeah, esque Marvel near, okay, got near, it. Near, near the, make sure they clear that up. Adjacent. Adjacent. Yes. But, Spectacular. Uh, but it was <laughs> one of his classic cameos. We got to you know actually do that and then we met him prior and did a little interview and he actually signed like <laughs> that was hilarious. It was really how much, Now, how much do those go for? I don't know. We'll see. What do you want for? <laughs> <laughs> name, name your prize. I, uh, I'm normally like not like. He usually has a lot of words to say. I mean, true. It, a lot, he's always saying things. Sorry. I just kind of like. You don't do have to stand up for him here. No, 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 this is just <laughs> how it works. And We're then you know, I just nod and say cool. But the funny thing was, when we walked into Stan's office, he shut down. I and was, he was just like, he had a backpack, a little. I literally, literally like, became 12 years old. He had a backpack full of comics. That's, and yeah. I was just like, what the hell? Is that? I couldn't talk. And we, I met, like, you know, we met some good, like, famous oh, wow, people, this, and this no problem. But st- I could not communicate. And I was like, you know, as well, just, I don't know what happened to you. It's it was, just like it when hilarious. I was 12, and like Peter Parker was like helping me deal with life and understanding <laughs> middle school and all of my own problems. I just, I'm like, you're, you're the guy. You're Stan. It was amazing. Stan experience. We we have the same exact. Reaction when he comes into the office, pretty much everything. And stops. he's and he's, he's so just, nice. He's the sweetest and guy. He's, he's hilarious. Yes. Like you know. Oh, you're not Whenever in Fight Club. Whenever you think with of Stan, no, 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 no I'm, I'm in Fight Club with Stan. He's not, not not a nice guy. <laughs> Throat puncher. No. No. Throat no. Yeah. His head. Right, so, so where can we see what you guys are working on? What's the best way for people to reach you and see your films? Um, right now, if you want to watch our movies, uh, Camp Dakota or Bad Night, it's on Netflix. Netflix. And uh, if you want to watch our weird stuff on YouTube or our short Some Kind of Evil, just go to YouTube.com slash The Brothers Rydell. Awesome. You guys will be back for our panel. Yes, yes. absolutely. All right, let's do that. Yeah, we'll, All right, we'll great. see you guys a little later in the okay. show. Thank you very much. Thank let's you. Let's go right in. <laughs> Bernadette, what's going on in the interwebs? <laughs> well, I am going to give away a Wowie prize. Uh, <laughs> I am actually going to give it to Nightmare Kids for asking that awesome question for the Rydell Brothers. So congratulations. You win one of the robots, the MIP ro- robot from Wowie, our sponsor. So congratulations. I'll be messaging you in a little bit. And so keep asking your questions to me at the, using the hashtag Ask Kamikaze. This is awesome. I'm on Twitter right now, so I'm getting them live. Also remember to subscribe to the stream.tv in future shows, I'm probably going to be giving away prizes just for subscribers. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. So make, it's the easiest way to win a prize. Just subscribe to the stream.tv and watch all the amazing shows there. I mean, seriously, they have all these amazing shows besides our kamikaze all year long. And let's see. Oh, I know. I'm going to pull the audience uh, here at Kamikaze all year long. And if you guys get on Twitter and still using the hashtag Ask Kamikaze so I can see it, who do you like more? Who do you think's gonna win, Batman or Superman? And the winner, I'm gonna pick at random, will get this. <laughs> A robot raptor. I mean, seriously, how cool is this? <laughs> From Wowie. They're not even clapping, they're all getting on Twitter right now. <laughs> Let me hear it, do you wanna win this? Yeah! <laughs> so, it's a robot. Raptor. I mean, seriously, how cool is this? So yeah, I'm gonna pull the audience because that's a little hard to ship. I'm sorry, those in the chat room. But anyways, so oh, here we go. They're already coming in, baby. And uh, make sure you're talking to me on uh, YouTube.com/slash/thestream.tv and asking me questions in the chat room. I'm hopefully gonna be asking questions later on when I have the whole panel of people there. And let's see what else. Fun little questions are happening, and uh, I think we are ready to throw back to you guys. So here we go, Keith and Jonathan, our next guest. Yes. Thank you, Bernadette. Uh, We are back, and our next guest ruined millions of people's weekends this past weekend. Uh, But we are honored to have him. Please say hello to Mr. Peter Shinkoda. Let's hear it. Which camera? Uh, I, we're on you got something. that one right there over there. There's no brother. light on that one. Okay. Yeah. Uh, but hey, you know, so, yeah. so Peter Shinkoda, mm-hmm. Daredevil, 
uh, what was, I mean, two seasons now. How, yeah. how Hashtag so, spoilers. Well, I'm avoiding the spoilers, spoilers because okay. I yeah. haven't gotten to the last episode. But I haven't myself. I'm in, uh, I'm in the middle of seven. Wow. But Friends we, are, I'm getting uh, killed with all these uh, text messages, questions about it, and they're blowing, you know, they're spoiling <laughs> it for me. Somebody said, uh, what's up with the blacksmith? I said, that's Black Sky. Your typo is going on. There's no, there's a Black Sky. I'm like, I, I don't even know what you're talking hey, about. They, didn't I, let, I didn't they only write, let you read the scripts that you were involved in. Uh, tell you the truth, season one, I got full scripts. Uh -huh. All the five uh, episodes, uh, I got them in their entireties. Uh, this, this year, I'd be getting just my scenes maybe 48 hours before, sometimes three hours before. Wow. wow. Yeah, just so, so, so I have to deliver all my material. Uh, with no context, because I don't know what's going on previously, so sure. you know, you're really just Peter, kinda, is, you it know, that, is it true that the scripts were delivered by ninjas? Is that, is that yes, that yeah, was true? Yeah, by, <laughs> by train, trained pigeons. Wow, the secrecy, yeah. you know. Um, I, well, just cause Mar because it's guys not, like you or yeah. the audience are always like, fine. So, I mean, oh, hey. Yeah, if, you, if one person you're finds out, you know, in, in mm. a matter of the minutes, the whole world finds out. So um, yeah, they, they, they have a lot of uh, security measures in place. Um, a big one is, uh, once we do get our scripts or our material, they send it in a marble software that they developed themselves. Oh, really? Know, wow. They probably commissioned it, you know, out of NASA or something. But it, it, you can't get into it. It's so hard to get into. Whenever I get new material, I have to <laughs> correspond with, you know, 20 people at Marvel staff to, to, to actually access my material. Thank you for that. It's but like Marvel Space really, instead of my Yeah, it, it's, it's tough. They it's are tough the to hand. Deal with. They're Marvel's the like hand, hand slash shield slash... Uh, Hydra. But, but you are part of the Marvel Universe. It's pretty awesome. And, and no one can take that away from you. What's Ever that like? Again. They can cut your head off and <laughs> lay you on fire a million freaking times they and they can. don't take it away from you. They can do that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 you know, somebody wrote to me, somebody that's, uh, that writes for Marvel Comics Universe or M MCU Exchange. Okay. She goes, oh yeah, congratulations, Pete. You're, you, you got promoted. You're going to be up in, you know, the, the badass Marvel <laughs> villains, you know, level tier. So I'm like, that's cool. Very cool. Yeah, very cool. I mean, what very is cool. that like? Because I know you, Pete, and I know you're a huge comic book fan like mm -hmm. I am, like yeah. rolling all the way back. Right. Uh, you recently went home and found all your old classic comics. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, let's talk about maybe some of the other ones that you were a fan of. Were you a fan of the X-Men? Uh, yeah, definitely a fan of the X-Men. And, and you saw this uh, new trailer, new the new Alpha trailer for tra X-Men. Oh, Alpha Flight. Yeah. Well, he's absolutely. Canadian, so he's a fan of Alpha Flight. Yeah. I am new. Did uh, you hear anything, any news <laughs> about Alpha Flight recently? <laughs> uh, you, could, you could play Puck. Uh, no, I could, I could play Sasquatch. <laughs> Sasquatch, maybe. <laughs> you need a lot more um, hair. A lot more that's hair. What I'm but, uh, but this Roll. new X-Men trailer, did you see it? What did you think of the new X-Men Apocalypse trailer? I like that that last little sequence where the, uh, the Psylocke comes and chops the the, the car. I, I like what she's wearing. Mm -hmm. I like it. Oh, you like what she's wearing? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. I, I, I she's she's hand-trained. You know, back in, in episode one mm -hmm. of this very show, we talked about the uh, the X Men trailer, and um, there were a lot of complaints at the time because that photo had leaked of uh, Apocalypse. In right. Everybody thought he looked mm. like the dude from Power Rangers. Yeah, or Mr. Freeze or something. Yeah. And I had said at the time, <laughs> just yeah. wait. I once the, the the graphics guys get to it, I thought he looked great. I thought it was and it's redemption. Well, when when did that think? one come out? A few like a month ago or something? No, the uh, it just came out within the last two weeks, and the, it's with the giant uh, apo Apocalypse. Yeah, I saw it, but I, I no, I didn't but have that any first issues image with it. That I really got to mad me. at. It's, it's like, really good, 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 good. Yeah. They cast Oscar Isaac. The guy is incredible. Yeah. And you're not seeing it. I was that kid I'm back in, in like, 98 who, when they first showed the costumes for Brian Singer's original X-Men. I was right. like, this is garbage. I was like, oh, I'm getting like cold news. I was like, what? You, and then I saw the movie. The yellow <laughs> I saw the movie, and I was like, this is phenomenal. Right. I will never troll a comic book costume before I see it in action I ever think again. They did it, I you think know, they did it I mean, were you all over the, 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 um, uh, the, the Jared Leto... I'm totally down with it. Beautiful. Totally with it. You know what I mean? Because I kind of had issues with it when I saw it. I went, really? Oh, come on. And then, you know, you see the trailer, you're like, yeah, that's working. He had that's to working, do something so. vastly different because right. nothing will ever top right. Ledger, at least I, I, I think, think he's going to do great. I, I love his laugh that he has, that cackling, yeah. high pitched laugh. Mm -hmm. and I think that's a throwback. Well, so, listen, man, when you found out you were cast in Daredevil, mm -hmm. like, what was your first reaction? Wow, I just went into the fetal position. Because you're a major comic book fan, and yeah, all of a sudden you're I mean, in this it was series. Huge. But to tell you the truth, I didn't know it was going to lead into the hand. Because the ninjas. I, only, I didn't know. I just thought I was just like some sinister Asian guy. To tell you the truth, I read a bunch of times, and uh, one of the auditions it was a scene there where Wesley had to uh, to uh, get that the the uh, the 
the, the beat cop to, to murder Karen Page in her, in her jail cell in the first right. episode. That was uh, my second audition. First wow. audition was like seven pages uh, of uh, Wesley's uh, dialogue talking to, to um, uh, Foggy and uh, to Matt. So you auditioned with Wesley's dialogue. Yeah, and it just said Wesley. I'm like, okay, and that's the guy oh, who was Wesley. Kingpin's right. buddy. Yeah, so then right then when I got that material, I, I knew they were talking to, to Nelson Murdoch. Because wow. they were talking all, all, all yeah. kinds of legal uh, eagle stuff. So like, um, this is yeah, and then uh, the next uh, material they got I got was uh, for a Japanese guy named Hachiro. I think that leaked out of the casting office, and then uh, the press got a hold of it and ran with it and said I was Hachiro. Couldn't say anything. Um, but uh, once I got to New York, and uh, I got sent that that Marvel uh, encrypted uh, material script thing, I, I looked at it and uh, there there was there was no Hachiro. There was only a guy named Nobu. <laughs> and just sitting in the back saying nothing. Those freaking maybe, ninjas, dude. And yeah, so I, I mean, this was a Sunday night, maybe four days before shooting. And I but called said, my are you thinking ninjas or are you thinking sushi? I just, I, I was thinking, like, I'm taking a flight back out of here. I didn't sign on to this. You know, <laughs> yeah. I don't know who this is. I signed on to a character that was called Ichiro. Uh, turned out to, you know, it worked in my favor. Uh, things well, don't usually work out in my favor. It's, but it's awesome when it does. Really Peter, did. we, we uh, actually yeah. have a, a fan question, if we don't mind. Breaking news. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah. It, it ties in with what you're, what you're okay. talking about. You do such an awesome yep. job on on Daredevil. Uh, how much training did you have to go through and, and how much of your own stunts were you doing? That's a, that's a big thing with actors these days. Well, I took judo and karate till I was 15. Um, it really didn't so impress the girls, right? So I started to take <laughs> sure. to play hockey so and football and all that stuff. <laughs> so whatever limited amount of uh, martial arts that I have, I'll, I'll try to use it. Mm -hmm. um, I go in there with ideas and I go in there completely eager to do it. And to tell you the truth, we're working on such a heavy, heavy schedule and uh, the, the, the fights are so technical, so dangerous. I mean, there's so many weapons flying around that we got the, the best stunt team <laughs> in all of the world. I, I really mean that. And, and it's, it's run by like Roberto uh, Gutierrez and, uh, and Phil Silvera and, uh, and, and, and his whole team, uh, including my stunt double this year was um, Michael Carnes. Uh, last year there was Jim Ng from New York that uh, did a lot of my tricks. Um, I, I can't say enough about these guys. They are absolute um, artists and geniuses and uh, and, and they're also killers, you know, real life killers. Dude, and they're, they're all going to come guys. in and, yeah. and finish no, the no, show no, 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 for no. you. No, so they're you all going to take a break and no one Well, I watched these, the whole thing me. over the weekend. I like, power, you know, I, I definitely did the yeah. all 13 episodes over the weekend. I thought yeah. you were freaking awesome in it. Oh, thanks. And now the whole Marvel Netflix universe is getting bigger. Yeah. You've got this guy, Finn Jones from Game of Thrones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he's joining it as Iron Fist. What do you think of that casting? I know there's a lot of controversy about you know, I'm them wanting familiar. an Asian actor. Right, to do right, Iron right. Fist. I'm very that, familiar with that. But that's that Shang-Chi. Yeah, yeah. Like, I, I don't know. I'm not saying this officially, but I've heard rumors that Shang-Chi is being cast for and he will, be, uh, he'll, he will appear. So that will offset yes. the fact that uh, you know, people are bitching about the, the whitewashing of Finn Jones, who was whitewashed decades ago, so let right. it go, you know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I, I think that would really screw with the whole um, the, the mythology, so you know, keep, him, keep him white. Drag in a Sha uh, Shang-Chi, who I love. Yeah. That was, that was, that was one amazing. of the comics I obsessed over as a child. Um, and, was it uh, important to you to have uh, an Asian Not hero? at the time, I just you know, unconsciously gravitated towards what you know, I can relate to, and it was those, those faces, those, those, that imagery I saw. Right. Uh, also, you know, it was touching culturally on, on Japan, you know, and I got all kinds of Japanese shit around my, my, my house, my parents' house, so. Um, That's why I wish course. there was a Ray Romano comic book when I was growing up. <laughs> Yeah, oh, I'd be like, oh, oh he looks God, like I me. See. I could be a, a, I see a superhero. I see, I see the Ray Romano. Yeah, Ray you don't, you don't sound yeah. as nasally. No, the closest I got was that damn Karate Kid. And I was like, eh, or, or Ross from Friends. Well, or, That's how or, screwed I was. Or the Power Pack. <laughs> yeah. Because you would have fit right in. No, sucked, I, I see the Ray Romano. The little, yeah. young, the young, the young little young Mexican kid from Captain Planet? That was my hero. Oh, God. It's not good, man. <laughs> it's not good. But well, listen. <laughs> I, I sympathize. Okay, okay, final question. Uh, Iron Fist versus Nobu, because ninjas get ready to direct it all the time. It ain't no big thing. Mm -hmm. uh, who wins? Iron Fist versus Nobu? Oh, gee whiz, Drop man. Like I think he, was, he wasn't, he's, you know, Nobu's been bringing his Z game. You know, it's not A game yet. I think mm. that's, uh, he's been just arrogant uh, every step of the way. You know, uh, he could have, like, no spoilers, but I mean, he could, he could ask for help once in a while. So that's the problem, <laughs> right? right. He, he tries to take on everything and, uh, you know, uh, uh, and every obstacle by himself. When he's got legions, he's got teams, he's got, he's got millions of Asians behind him to help him, but he doesn't ask for it. He literally says, stop, stop, I'm gonna handle this, you know? And then, uh, you know, look at him. He, 
you know, bad things happen to him. Yeah, so no, no spoilers, no spoilers. Right, right. All right, so uh, Daredevil on Netflix now. It is. Go yeah. see it before it gets spoiled for you guys, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And where else uh, can we find you? What are you working on? What's what's next? Uh, well, well, this I, I kept my my app shut for the last few months. Um, you know. Good job. So, yeah, job I had well to do done. that, but you know, it's pilot season. I'm just looking for another gig. Hopefully, this will generate enough attention towards me. If somebody will just offer me something for months, because everybody hates all actors hate the audience. You never died in Falling Skies. I loved that show. Did you ever die in that show? I, just, they didn't to just bring you I back. I did die. Spin I did. I, I died very Never cheaply. Forget I died. that. I got thrown against the wall like many other characters yeah, did, but you don't go for some that. reason I, I, know, you know, don't I, go I had like a that. kink in my neck and I died. So, mm. but did they have the funeral? No, they and had no funeral. Still alive. He's just, just injured. You went to a chiropractor. Exactly. And you come back to fight and, aliens. And yeah. al no, an alien chiropractor. I'd like to think they took maybe some DNA and, and, they're, and they're cloning me somewhere okay. off Let's in the galaxy. And, and I'll wait for that reboot in 20 years. I'm going to write that here. script right now <laughs> while we talk to Bernadette. Okay. Yes, okay. thank you very much. Peter Shikota, everybody. Thank you. Thank you, thank you. And now we're going to go to uh, Online Central with Bernadette. Bernadette, what's going on? Well, congratulations to Kingdom Kids 90 or 96, I for, and it's 90, I can read my own handwriting. You, for your amazing question, you just won the other robot, so congratulations. <laughs> Yay, Woo! congratulations. Woo! So make sure to follow at the Stream TV on Twitter and direct message them your address so they can send this to you, so congratulations. Let's see what else. Yeah, we have some awesome questions. So far, audience is polling at Batman's gonna win in Batman versus Superman. <laughs> so, so, well, someone's happy. <laughs> so let's see, keep tweeting me your your uh, answers to that and I'm going to <laughs> next time give it away to the audience member. So there's that. Keep uh, sending me those questions at Ask Kamikaze. This is awesome. Uh, reminder to subscribe to the stream.tv and just win your prizes. It's that It's that easy. Let's see what else. The chat room's going. We have some fun questions, so thank you for that. And uh, I think we're ready. So we're gonna throw it back to the beautiful guest that's coming. She's a friend of mine, so I'm really excited. Back to you guys. <laughs> yes. Let's hear it. Thank you, we're for, back. That. Thank you for uh, the Twitterverse. During that little break, I drew a picture of a snake with a hat. <laughs> we're he's, back. He's not It's kidding. a little snake, and he's wearing a hat. He's a gentleman snake. So our next guest is uh, fabulously beautiful and fabulously talented, and uh, we love that she's here with us. Please say hello to Mylon Sarley. <laughs> Thank you for coming. Let's get right into the geek news because you are you are a well-rounded nerd. I am. You're a little yeah. bit of everything. Yeah. Master of everything. <laughs> I don't know about that, but sure, we'll go with that. So Why not? Video games. Uh, yeah. All right, did you hear the news about uh, this this past uh, past couple of days about a, a release that's going to come back next Red year? Red Dead Redemption? Yeah, it, yeah, it's a kind of a rumor, but it was, it's, it's got to happen. It's got to happen. Yeah. But, yeah, so that's the thing. Uh, so I got Red Dead right when it came out, and I realized I am a really bad at shooting coyotes and also really bad at open world stuff. I'm no. just like, but there's so many choices. But so I've got to shoot this roamer. coyote from a horse, and they just kept killing me. But and you could just pick flowers all day. That's what he did. I 100%ed Red Dead Redemption, did you? which is a massive uh, that's game. A, yeah, that's, my, that's, that's, it's so massive. My it's wife just... would walk into my office and be like, what are you doing? I was like, I'm picking flowers. <laughs> It's OCD, I, uh, but later in the game, I mean, if you can't shoot coyotes, later in the game, there's, there's legendary animals that yeah. are like the bigger, badder versions of yeah. what you're hunting in the oh game. God. And uh, yeah, those are pretty tough, and you gotta, you gotta man up. Or woman up. Uh, to be fair, I mean, in The Witcher, I spent, The Witcher 3, I spent most of my time running around punching geese. It's a pretty big game, too. <laughs> So what do you, you have so you against can geese? Do it. Were you attacked by Nothing, geese as a child? No, no, I, I love geese. They're great. I just really like punching them in game. So did you kick chickens in Fable 2? Uh, yeah. Yeah, hey. <laughs> in like chicken, in Zelda. Chicken's fun, right? In Zelda, when they attack you, if Flaws you really? hit them enough times. Those were terrible. Those chickens in Zelda are horrible. And you're just like, why? Just, just, I just, I just need to finish them. this thing. So, but are, are you excited about Red Dead? Or is this kind of a, uh, you know? I mean, I am, but I just... Uh, the first one was an amazing game, but you know what? I'm definitely into more of the fantasy worlds, Final Fantasy, mm -hmm. and World of Warcraft, and things like that. So, uh, okay, I mean, it's cool. I'm like, Everybody yeah, I'll probably play it, but I doubt I'll finish it. <laughs> I just love that there's something nerdy in Western. I think that's... Yeah. Dude, I yeah, can't yeah, wait awesome. for this. This is going to be my favorite game of whatever. 100%. I mean, you're going to 100% it. I'm going to 100% it again. Well, we will find out about uh, Red Dead Redemption at E3 yeah. yes. uh, this year, which you will be at E3. I will be at E3. But E3's kind of, it seems like they're having some problems. A lot of, a lot of companies pulling out. Yeah? Um, I mean, I don't know if that's a 
terrible thing. Uh, I don't know. I've been going to E3 for a long time now. And unfortunately, E3 has gotten so massive that it's actually really hard to see the games mm -hmm. um, unless you have appointments, which, you know, usually I'm fortunate, fortunate enough to have those. But even so, even appointments, it's really hard to, like, get through and really have time with the game and experience it and talk to the people that are there to really inform you about the game. And it's just, it's just turned into a bit of a madhouse of a con. Right. So and even though it's technically a private... Right, it, it's, it's easy to get event. As long as yeah. it doesn't get back to the level that they were in Santa Monica with Jamie Kennedy hosting, I think we're all like, okay, remember that was year? Was E3 down in Santa Monica? Oh, that uh, one, I, that one, I do not yeah, remember I mean, there was that one year. year that they scaled down quite a bit, and it was like really Well, you said Jamie so Kennedy. So. Well, he, well he, yeah, he was hosting. I mean, it's a pretty famous press, it was a pretty famous uh, clip on YouTube. Look for that, Jamie Kennedy, E3, thank me later. Because <laughs> it's about as good a meltdown as you can see somebody hosting. Oh it, yeah, it's, it's I, not good. I'm, I'm really excited. Uh, for this. It's pretty awesome. But um, you, like, what are some of the games you're hoping to get announced at E3 this year? Because yeah, I'm mean, uh, excited. About I mean, it. there's some good opportunities. It's we just hard saw Liam's Gears of War. Yeah, yeah. So Liam's and Gears. Uh, and my friend Cliffy actually was a big part of the first three. In okay. That. So I'm actually I'm actually really excited to see his game Lawbreakers um, and get a chance to play that. That should be releasing soon. Um, and then Overwatch is, a lot of games that I'm excited for have already been announced, sure. and they're happening. So Overwatch is getting released, I want to say, early June. Um, but, and also I'm excited for the remake of Final Fantasy VII. So. Yeah, what took so long on that? And are you going to miss those, like, polygonal, like, weird I figures? actually, so after, after that announced at E3 last year, I actually went back and started playing Final Fantasy VII How many again. versions of Final Fantasy do you have, Final Fantasy VII? Because it's been released on quite a few platforms. Like, how many versions it do you has, have? It has, but there wasn't really that big of a difference. Um, when, they, when they redid it for, I forget which system, they just, they, they kind of upped the graphics a little mm -hmm. bit, but didn't, they didn't really mess with the story. But, uh, what was I going to say? Um, so, technically, this is the... Third? But it's, I, I don't think they're really, they're not like redoing, as far as I know, they're not really messing with the story, but it should look prettier, hopefully. I yeah. don't know, it's hard, it's hard when they do these remakes because you're like, eh, don't mess with the thing I love. They, they, they did a really good bird thing uh, a few years ago, and they recently did it with the uh, Grim Fandango and mm -hmm. the Day of the Tentacle remakes that they did, where if you hit a button, it, I'm a huge Monkey Island fan. The Monkey Island, the first oh, two yeah, games yeah. are classic. I haven't played Monkey Island. But the, 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 the remakes, they, you click a button, you can go back to the original graphics. Mm -hmm. Same gameplay, same everything. Maybe some updated gameplay, but you can but go right that, back to the original. That was another game. game. With uh, one touch of a, of a button, and you go back to the original graphics. I can't remember if it was Halo or Call of Duty. I feel like they did that with another game, where you could turn, basically, mm -hmm. in-game, you could turn the graphics on and off. Just a thought, Square Enix. Just a thought. Just a suggestion, and uh, we're going to patent that now. Just think about it. I don't know if we you can it. patent that. I don't know. I don't know. But, uh, well, let's talk about my yeah. end. Let's talk about you. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> <laughs> like so uh, a lot of people know you because you are a member of a team, a team of yes. unicorns called Team Unicorn. Yes. Yes? Have you yes. guys heard of Team Unicorn? Yes. Yeah. Unicorn! Yeah. 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 Super talented. What, uh, <laughs> you guys have had... Uh, <laughs> you guys have had quite the uh, the run. You guys have, have done a lot of different things uh, at a lot of different places. You guys go to cons. You do stuff online. What has been your favorite moment oh. of everything you guys have done? The, the definitive uh, Team Unicorn moment. Honestly, I w I'll have to say it was it was before we were officially Team Unicorn. Um, we were on the set for Geek and Gamer Girls, and that was really just a project born out of love and being like, hey, let's just make something together. And uh, it all came together, and I remember us being on set shooting it, and we had like a techno crane and stuff. I don't, don't ask how we got that. We basically paid in hugs and kisses and favors to all our friends. <laughs> but we had this techno crane, and I'm just looking around, and I'm like, it's, we're shooting a music video, it's all real. <laughs> So it was, it was really bad. So I think that's probably, and sort of that's when Team Unicorn sort of started to form and coalesce. So I think that's probably. Now you're like, very cool. take no crane, whatever. Can we get five? <laughs> I want five Give us all the techno cranes cranes. And a drone. I want everything. <laughs> Nose cam. Yes, yes, Never mind. yeah. Uh, but you also became a, a Twitch partner channel. Uh, yes, like, yes. What's the, what, what can we see on like your live stream? So I live stream on Twitch. I recently just got partnered, which they say out of the, I don't know, 1.5 million active users, only around 11,000 ish are partners. Sure. So it's pretty exciting. Um, but I actually stream gameplay, and then I also stream um, 
when I'm making cosplays for cons. So I've been doing a lot of that because WonderCon's coming up this weekend. So it's just been, and then before Kamikaze and things like that, I'm just constantly. And your cosplay at Kamikaze is always better than WonderCon, right? Well, yes, of course, <laughs> obviously, 100%. Okay. I just want to make sure. 100%. Well, like what are you working on now? Uh, two things. What game are you streaming heavily now, and what uh, what costumes are you working on for this weekend? Sure. So uh, the new season of League of Legends started back in January, so mm -hmm. I've been just ranking up in League. So that's the main game I've been playing, a little bit of Hearthstone and Overwatch and some other games. But uh, And then for uh, this weekend, I'm actually doing a Rule 63 Matt the Radar tech. <laughs> that's a, that's Why not? That may be the nerdiest sure. thing I've ever heard. That's awesome. <laughs> that, that's, uh, what the hell did you just say? <laughs> Uh, Matt you guys, the Radar Tech. Well, Rule but, 63, yeah. yeah. So for Rule 63, it's kind of, um, how do I explain? So if a character exists, then the f female or male version, usually sure. uh, sexy version of that character must also exist. Right. So that's essentially. Do you think there's a sexy version of me somewhere out there? Yes, that's, the a, that's, a, that's a girl right wearing that exact okay. shirt. Yes, Let's do it. Yes. All right. Uh, so that'll be Friday. I have a dream. I hope that's it. <laughs> so sexy uh, spoof. It's a spoof of a spoof. Yes, okay. on Friday. I like that. I'm part of a big Once Upon a Time group on Saturday, so I'm doing <clears throat> Regina Mills, who plays the Evil Queen. And then on cool. Sunday, I'm doing a Fallout 4 vault suit. Very cool. And, and will we be able to see all of these work. on your Twitch I've been, channel. yeah, for the past month, I've actually been streaming a lot of this on Twitch. People see me, like, crying and so <laughs> She's sewing and crying. I think there's a fetish for sewing and crying, though. Yeah, yeah, no, it's you know, you know, like Maybe that's why my channel's been growing so much. Yeah. Yo, you want to watch that girl cry and sew? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, but you, that's part I of, eat my feelings. There's you a lot got of that. your own clothing line, though. I do. What I is did. It? Uh, I is is the Monster did. Lab Buy It shirt one of it? <laughs> I this? made this. I actually. So, uh, this is actually kind of funny. Liam and I are actually part of a group of friends, and our friend Elliot, who's in the audience right now, um, that get together in group, like play tabletop games once a week on Thursdays. <laughs> Bernadette's part of it, too. Um, yeah. I guess we're not good enough. No comment. <laughs> but. I'm starting to figure out what their loyalties like. <laughs> Come on to our show, promote your stuff. Well, I told Liam uh, at game night like two weeks ago, I was like, I'm gonna make a shirt that says Monster Lab, buy it just for this. And he didn't believe me. And I was like, mm, I should put a bet, money bet on this. So can people buy that online? Uh, you cannot buy this shirt online. <laughs> well, then you missed the opportunity. Who did? Well, well what do you guys have bought that? Uh, yeah. 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 See that? Maybe if you're supporting Monster Lab, maybe I will do something he, special in conjunction with There's somebody concern. in our audience right now, I think he's right over there, who's like, I'll buy the one you got on. <laughs> <laughs> How much money you got on you, dude? <laughs> Can you run a couple laps in it and get it all nice and sweated? <laughs> he's, sitting wow. right, yeah, he's sitting right over there. He's, sitting right over there. <laughs> he's that guy right there. So he got his hair cut for you. Yeah. <laughs> is this your okay. <laughs> anyway, uh, but, but your clothing yeah, line. I do. I have a clothing brand. Yes, it's exactly. called Fatal Fox. You can go to fatalfox.com. There's only two shirts up there. I've been super busy. I actually just hu filmed a huge movie in Atlanta that I can't say what family I'm a part of, but... but. We, all, we already know. Yeah, yeah, it's, Spoiler alert. Cool. Cool. Partridge. We the Partridge it. family. I like it. Yes, yes. That's Fine. definitely it. Um, but, but yeah, uh, I'm super excited. It, it'll come out next year, and I'm hoping um, I'll be able to announce what it is sooner. So. In designing these clothes, where does the inspiration usually come from? On the, so, so it honestly came from me just um, wanting, like, cute girl clothes, but girl clothes that weren't just, like, T-shirts and stuff and things that actually fit me mm -hmm. um, and weren't just, like, those regular, like, baby tees and things like that. So I make mostly, most of my things are crop tops and that kind of stuff. That's very cool. So, uh... Two questions. One, mm -hmm. when you can announce it, will you come back on on this show and announce? Uh, yes, tell us yes. What the I will is? scream from the rooftops what it is. I'm yes. so excited. Yay! And then the second one is when you get more shirts, can you bring some so that we can give some away? Maybe as a yes, giveaway. Yes. Yes. Oh my God. Yes. Number three. Uh, can you make anything for dudes? Uh, I can. I normally actually only make women's wear, but I can. I actually made this today, to literally right before I came on. So yeah, that guy over there is like, I'll wear women's wear. <laughs> <laughs> Beggars <laughs> can't be choosers, hot stuff. <laughs> well, cool. Well, we look forward to uh, having your stuff as a giveaway, uh, and we know we have another giveaway with Bernadette. Uh, so I think she's going to give away the big. Did you see the uh, the big? Raptors? I want that raptor. Yeah. So I would be really careful whoever wins uh, that. Guys, I am probably going to try and fight you after. If that guy gets it, he'll trade it for who, the shirt. Whoever yes. wins it, whoever wins it has to fight the raptor. 
helicopter right here. And uh, right on this desk. I, I will fight yeah. you. I was like, I fight. wrote it down and I can't find my sheet. So give me one second while I'm well, scrolling. We're, we're going to be back with Mylan in just a couple moments right after Bernadette gives us away. And we're going to do the round table. And yeah. so uh, I'm going to just vamp uh, while no, Bernadette I'm good. looks. I'm good. She's I'm good. Good, Bernadette. To Bernadette. <laughs> Thank you, Mylan. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Stay right there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. People are saying like Batman's gonna kick Superman's butt. I don't know if I can say ass on here, but they were saying that, and other people saying no, Superman's the man. He's gonna win. And then we we had this winner, Laura with Doomsday will will win, of course. So congratulations, you Laura, you won the dinosaur. <laughs> you wanna come get it? <laughs> so congratulations, yay! <laughs> you know, give away to our audience. So to be in our audience, we want to thank Infilis and especially Jeff Gund. I think you're even here in the audience. So woo, there he is. Everybody thank him. <laughs> Special shout out. You're, if you want to be in the audience, make sure to go follow and, and get all the info at infilis.com and come be in our audience at Kamikaze all year long. And hey, you could win a prize from me. So that's awesome. And then we have some Awesome questions coming in. I've written a bunch down, so we'll see if I get to throw any at the panel later. And uh, chat room's going, going good. Keep those questions coming. Make sure to follow us at the Stream TV and at Stanley Kamikaze. And I'm going to throw it to a commercial now. <laughs> Just in case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. In case you missed it live. Oh, you'd want to take the time travel the whole way back. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh. We had a crazy vampire threesome. And I mean, you can't unsee that. That's just, that's burned into my brain now. I was like, woo, woo. How did you get here? No, no. Look at me, I'm dancing. <laughs> you know why we're saying yes. You know why we say yes. He was like, yeah, I'll tell you whatever you want. He is quite something. And we're like, mmm, inseparable. She was shadier than Sunglass Hut with Ray-Bans on sale, ladies and gentlemen. No. Uh, it uh, wasn't, so uh, come on! You just went to a totally different direction on that. When a billionaire goes broke, it means he's got like four million dollars. <laughs> Hold the phone. Hold on. Bro. I found her to be deliciously out of control. Oh man, looking forward to this fight. Ooh, they about to get together. Watch, yeah, watch, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, about yeah. to go down. Somebody better take some pictures of this. She just slapped the crap out of Nick. Me. And he's just, he's just like like that. It's so good. You can't count anything out. Look at you. It's been another awesome night at the Stream.tv, guys. Awesome. Thank you for joining yes. us, you guys. Yes. We love you. Pretty awesome seeing all the stuff that the stream has to offer. I like that little commercial. It makes it think that we're part of a family here, but this is Kamikaze all year long. It's our family, and this is the part of the show where we get the family together for a panel discussion. Uh, I thought that was a lot of fun. You know what's exciting about that raptor? Can, can I see that raptor that you guys gave away real quick? Can you bring that over to me? Laura, I want Laura to bring it over to me. Oh, well, okay. Laura, this is our winner, Laura. She won the raptor. Come over here. It, 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 watch the cables, watch the cables. Fight, 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 fight. It's, get over here. It's literally as big as her. Look, at the, <laughs> like, look the raptor yeah. is taller. Stand it up. Yeah. Later on the show, we're going to bring a cage out here. She's going to be fighting the raptor. You want to be watching that. But first, we got this panel. Congratulations. Yeah. I love that she's staying there. That was she awesome. What, she's on there. She's like, can I fight the raptor now? <laughs> I'm ready to she's take ready. this raptor apart. Let's do it. Uh, no, we, we got the panel going on here, and we're going to be talking about the biggest topics, but everybody's going to be involved. Keith is over there on the couch with the Right L boys. Hi, everybody. Yeah. This is the cool hangout right here. Hey, hey, hey. hey. I'm a little biased. And uh, no, we have the lady over here, but she just wants to sit But you don't have the comfy Keith. couch seats. Yeah, you, you know. do. Sorry. Have you checked those seats with the black light, brother? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> so, I feel things. Uh, so, Keith, this is only my second kamikaze. What will we do is we... Talk about the topics. These Absolutely. are the hottest topics. The, I think the biggest one that is not Batman versus Superman this week is that recent reveal of the new Civil War trailer that yes. had our good friend Spider-Man in oh, it. Spidey. 
Yes. That was crazy. Yes. Yes. I mean, hey everybody. hey everybody. The internet pretty much went nuts for that last little tease at the end of that trailer where you see Spider Man flick, 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 pull away Cap Shield, and he's on Team Iron Man. It was huge. What did you think? I mean, you're the Marvelite here. No, I mean, he, he was my favorite character. Uh, the, the little the eye squint at the end. Yeah. You know, that was it. Just, he went from oh, like, he went from it, like Romita to Ditko yeah. in like one little. <laughs> <laughs> that was it. And of course, the throwback costume, the original costume look. It was it was like seeing Chewie and, 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 and Han Solo saying Chewie were home. It was one of those things. Just, oh. <laughs> it's all coming together. Yeah. It's all yeah. happening. It's one of those ones. Oh, really? There's what? a video that's got wow. mechanical eyes Nerd. <laughs> that's <laughs> Nerd. I am so down with that person. That person. Uh, what, did, what did you think, Marlon? Uh, I'm super excited. I, I'm i just like, how many? I was like, the more superheroes in a movie, the better. And Marvel's um, like, we can't afford it. <laughs> yeah, yeah Marvel's <laughs> like, like we, can't, Disney. we can't pay these salaries. Right. Um, no, I think I'm actually more excited for Civil War than I am for Batman versus Superman. Okay. Sorry, All right. No, I think that's OK. Um, you, you know, I have a question real quick for you, Peter. Now, I heard this rumor because obviously we want more superheroes in our superhero movies. Uh, and Civil War is a great excuse to get almost the entire Marvel Universe involved. And of yeah. course, Infinity Wars after yeah, I don't that. Know Charlie's going to be in it now. Well, the, the, <laughs> question, the, well, the question I have for you is there was that rumor that Charlie was talking about that the TV actors at Marvel uh, have a clause in their contracts that if they get drafted into the films, they need to uh, they honor those clauses. Is it true that like they, that Marvel can say, "Hey, Daredevil's going to be in this movie. A, Punisher's going to be in this movie." Do you have a clause in that? It's like we want Nobu I'm gonna, to fight. I'm going to call my reps as soon as I leave this table and say, uh, "See if there's a clause in there with me." But I, no, I didn't. I didn't know there was one. Mm -hmm. um, but I, it's I, all connected, as Jeff Loeb says. Yeah, right? it's all connected. I think they can work things out, you know, within the studio system. But uh, mm -hmm. is, is there a clause with some of the, the regular cast? Um, that I'm not sure, but I really hope so because. Uh, I know Charlie personally. He, he wants to be, in, mm -hmm. uh, you know. In, and we want Daredevil to be in those, right? Yeah, yeah, of course. You know who, you know who course, does have uh, that clause? Me. <laughs> Keith Jones can be in there. That'd totally be awesome. True. Hey, I think Bernadette has a question from uh, the crowd. Yeah, yes, from the, from I, have the a, I have a question from the chat room for all our panelists. Are you Team Captain America or Team Iron Man? Mm. Oh boy. <laughs> I haven't even decided on Bat Team Batman or Superman. Yeah. 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 I'm from the audience, now I'm pulling the panel. Anybody who chooses Team Batman is a psychotic. That's <laughs> totally true. Well, let, let's right. ask the brothers right now. Let's let's expand okay. that. Brothers. Batman, Superman, Cap, Iron Man. Okay, well, Batman. Batman, obviously. Sorry, Sorry. psychotic. Crazy people. Crazy uh, people. We'd already established that. Yeah. And, I don't trust uh, either of you. I don't know. I mean, I think. Stark or. Uh... I think Cap. Cap? Yeah. I don't, I'm kind of split still. I don't really know. Yeah. That's interesting because the archetypes. Superman, you would think if you if it's Batman, you'd have to take Iron Man. Uh, right, but I feel like in this world, I, I don't know, I'm drawn, I still, I can't help but love Cap. He loves Cap. I, I, we're at war now. Cause I we're going to kill each other Iron Man. Iron Man yeah. You're going to be very sad at the end. I of know, I'm ready war. to cry. I cry all the time anyways. <laughs> <laughs> totally normal. I just want to see uh, Wesley Snipes' blade. Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah. Yeah. It, right? Yes. 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 Versus Nobu, Nobu versus Blade. That'd be amazing. Yes. Oh, what? Yeah, yeah. Actually, Blade. That would be I great. use them. That'd be great. Blade's mother was attacked by a vampire in Utero. Sorry. Yeah, this uh, bullshit silver won't hurt me, right? So, um, <laughs> well, yeah. where do you guys land on this whole thing? Team Cap or Team Iron Man? I'm Team Cap. Yeah. Because why? I, you know what? I really just go by like date guys I'd probably date. So uh -huh. I usually date because <laughs> I'm evil. Like I date like the nice guys. Like I'm also Team Superman. Like because like you yeah, say it's that? really just based on like the guys I would date. <laughs> All them girls say that, and then you see them with the jerks. No, I'm the evil one though. Riding around I'm in his jerk. Iron Man suit. And that's the thing. You can't have two jerks in a relationship. I'm the jerk, so I have to date the nice guys. Oh, really? I actually like do the reverse. Yeah, She'd be like a villainess. I'm, I'm the ass. Yes, hundred percent. What yes. villainess would you be? Oh, oh man. There's like Viper and like the whole uh, Sons of Serpent group. This is a really, you know what? I actually like, uh, <laughs> I like people that are start off good or start off bad and then like kind of flip back and forth. Like I'm a big Catwoman fan. I'm a big Star, Star Sapphire. I'm a huge Star mm -hmm. Sapphire fan. Uh, Psylocke has had her moments. So yeah, I'm kind of one of those girls that like switch Untrustworthy sides. I think is the word. <laughs> uh, trustworthy. <laughs> My snake with a hat does not like you. <laughs> it's right there. Or just smart. Mm -hmm. Just smart. It's okay, Mr. Snake. She won't steal your hat. Uh, Peter, where do you land on this whole uh, argument? Superman, You're part Batman. of the universe. Yeah, Batman, for sure. You're a Batman uh, guy. Yeah, and uh, 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 Civil War, I would go as Peter Shinkoda. I, I would pick Team Cap. I want my liberties. <laughs> and and, 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 and my, my privacy. But then, as Nobu, mm -hmm. 
I'll shave it. I would, uh, I would make sure that there'd be some kind of registry. I'd steal that registry and then I'd assassinate everybody on that list. <laughs> I, I, you know, yeah. I don't want to start any rumors here on Comic Con, but I heard that the after credit scene from uh, Marvel Civil War is all the villains just like fucking raiding banks. They're yeah. like, well, these assholes are fighting. Let's yes. make a living. Yes. Exactly. You well. dig in and just punch each other all you want. We're going to get rich. Hey, Red Skull, pass me that. Never mind. Uh, it's a dumb idea. I'm that sorry. That would be amazing. I want that to Watch happen. It. Sorry. Can we talk about a different topic now sure that I've dug myself a hole? Uh, there's a new Indiana Jones, and yes. Harrison Ford and Steven Spielberg are coming back for it. That's huge. <laughs> uh, David Kep is writing the script. He wrote uh, Jurassic Park. He wrote a couple of the, uh, uh, the scripts already. David Kep wrote that first Jurassic Park. Are you and sure? Yeah. And he he, did he, he's a longtime Spielberg collaborator, uh -huh. so they're getting the band back together. Except maybe Lucas. I don't know about the That's Lucas. What I'm but is Lucas like, in there or I don't no. know, man. My I'm biggest question no. is Star Wars Claus. Where's my LaBeouf, baby? No. No, let's let's hope no. he goes the no. way of Jar Jar. No. Absolutely not. He is the, the, the no Jar Jar no, of the Indiana Jones. No. Right? Yes, he is. I, absolutely. I, no Mutt no Jones? Shia LaBeouf. Like, Hopefully he's no the Jones. No Mutt Jones. No LaBeouf. Not no LaBeouf. Okay, so no LaBeouf. What do you guys like? You guys are filmmakers, Mr. Rydells. Mr. Rydells. Mr. Rydells. What do you guys want to see in your Indiana Jones 5. Oh man, I mean, I'm just excited uh, that it's existing. So I don't really know, like, what do I want to see in it? I mean, I want to see him, you know, shoot somebody again. You know, I want to see him. I want to see You are him. Team Batman. Yeah, yeah. no, yeah. totally. I mean, the traditional stuff. I, I want to see it all. You know, I want to see him running and jumping and being scared. running too, but I didn't. Yeah, lots know. of running. I Harrison like, Ford running. Harrison Ford, yeah, that's why I didn't say it. I was and like, Harrison well, Ford falling. Exactly. I love yeah. the way he falls. No, you know, you're right. Seriously, though. There's like an art man. Like a bitch. I, I, <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> You know that fall? He always does it. I yeah. love it. It's like the Tom Cruise run. It's so it's true. It's like the Tom the Cruise run. You got the Harrison what, Ford what fall. What if the end of the movie is like he, like Indiana Jones finds the Fountain of Youth, what if and they he comes, just kill out, him? he goes into it, he comes out as Channing Tatum. Oh. No, it, it, well, and then they just reset the universe. It's reset <laughs> yeah, yeah, universe. I was like, that's how they do it. No. As long as Tarantino like, and... like shoots the next ones, yes. yeah, yeah. Channing Tatum. Uh, I actually, you know, you said he finds Fountain of Youth, but he kind of did at the end of uh, Last, Last Crusade. Crusade yeah. He drank from the Holy Grail right. a little bit, so maybe <laughs> they can set this one modern day. Yeah, um, that's what I'm hoping. Oh, yeah. Like oh. to see him. He's older, but he's not old, and right, it's right. 2016. Shia LaBeouf is way dead. <laughs> and uh, maybe Everyone he, I don't in the know, chat like, room is saying, please don't let him in it. Please let him have died. Yeah. I, I, just, I would like to see Indy instead of the Nazis. ISIS. Sure. <laughs> ISIS. Oh, oh. Oh. I think that'd be great. You went there. Indy versus ISIS. I went there. Yes, I Too did. soon. My life would be good. Too see, soon. Be good. I'm getting validation from Peter Shinkoda. My yeah. night is made. Uh, <laughs> Milo, where do you land on the whole uh, Indiana Jones thing? I mean, I'm definitely excited. I hope they're trying to redeem themselves for four and nice. the whole Shia LaBeouf thing. And I really do hope he's not in it. And I hope this isn't like a Harrison Ford swan song either, where right. they Star Wars him too. And they're just like, pew pew. Uh, Bernadette, do you have an opinion on this? And, uh, and maybe, uh, what do you think? I wasn't busy chatting. I was totally paying attention. Were you on your phone? Were you on Tinder? <laughs> no. I was talking to our boss. You were swiping left. I she was saw like, that. She was like, let me see what I'm doing after this. Well, you know, we have a pretty fine audience here, so I was seeing who was close by. <laughs> it's that guy who wanted to buy the shirt off of my lens. Hey, I... It's, I would buy the shirt of my I'll life. I'll pay you in okay. fingers. <laughs> it's, the, it's the Wonder Woman bikini underneath it. It's, it's, it's underneath. Oh, That's right. No, it's not. Jonathan's face just got. <laughs> it's Christmas. Next time. Next time. All right. So, yeah. uh, listen, guys, it's been awesome having you guys on here. I'm, I'm getting the cue to wrap everything up. and. Aww. Uh, I know, so we're having so much fun, but you know so what? Fun. We do this all year long. <laughs> yes, we do. <laughs> and we're going to be here every month, uh, so it's going to be awesome as we do the road to Kamikaze, which is uh, going to be amazing this year, as you've seen. This is just a little taste. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be here next month. Uh, I, I want to thank our guests, man. Like, where can we find you guys on social? Uh, us? Oh, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, Twitter and Instagram at Brothers Rydell, and at YouTube it's just slash the Brothers Rydell. So, do you guys both answer the Twitter? Because it's one. Word, it is like, the weird. Mo it's mostly him, sometimes me. No. You usually can tell when it's like really poorly spelled and like doesn't make sense. That's <laughs> me. Sorry, guys. I try. Now you know. <laughs> you guys have your individual uh, social media handles as well. Yeah, oh, I'm did. confused. I know. I I, to, you know, they confirm one, then the other one would get jealous. I just went for the Brothers. <laughs> That's the smart <laughs> Good one. Call. That's the smart yeah. one. Yeah, it's easy. It makes it much easier. <laughs> Cool. So there you go. There it is. Mylin, where, where can we Mylin, find you? What do we got? You can find me on 
Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Mylynn, M-I-L-Y-N-N, Sarley, S-A-R-L-E-Y. And then you can find me on Twitch if you want to come watch my streams at The Gamer Chick. She's a partner. She got that little check or something to give you a little thing? Uh, you actually get to have your own chat icons and emotes. So, yeah. <laughs> if you subscribe. Peter? Uh, on Facebook at uh, Peter Shinkona, my fan site or, or my personal page. Uh, Peter.Shinkona at Instagram and at Peter Shinkoda. At Twitter. We can find you in Hell's Kitchen in Daredevil 3? <laughs> Perhaps. Perhaps. Call Jeff Loeb or somebody. <laughs> or, or, or Ike or something. I don't know. Call him. Yeah. Mr. Perlmutter, please. please. He wants to come back. He'll send his legions of ninjas after you. <laughs> uh, Bernadette, let, let's start to you a little bit about the, the, the Twitter and the Instagram and all that stuff. Yeah, I actually am going to give away one more prize because this was too good. So when we were talking about Indiana Jones and, and the new one coming out, <laughs> Star Drew in the chat room says, <laughs> whatever the story is, don't kill off Indiana Jones slash Harrison Ford. I don't think we can take it again. <laughs> 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 so congratulations, you win, you win an Electro Kid. So make sure to follow at the Stream TV on Twitter and direct message them your address so you can win your prize because that was just too good. <laughs> and of course, Bernadette, where can they find you? Oh, me? You can find me on Twitter and Instagram uh, as Ms. Bernadette B. That's Ms. Bernadette B. And on Facebook as Bernadette Bentley Actor, because I'm an actress. <laughs> and, and Bernadette, where can we find those Wonder Woman bikini pictures? Pictures or the actual bikini? <laughs> you can actually, I, Jonathan. <laughs> Jonathan, you can actually find them uh, uh, if you follow Stanley Kamikaze on Instagram or Facebook. Yes. They're up there. Oh, good to see you. Where can people just... find you, Mr. Geekscape? Uh, you can find all my stuff at geekscape.net. I'm at Jonathan Lennon on uh, Twitter, at geekscape.net, spelled out on Instagram. And we're also on Facebook and all that stuff. But here, I'm here at uh, Kamikaze. And uh, Keith, what's the whole deal with Kamikaze? I mean, all year long, brother. Kamikaze, Stanley's Kamikaze, all year long. We are working really hard to get you guys all sorts of cool things coming up. So please sign up. Uh, for the email at uh, kamikazeexpo.com because tickets are going to be going on sale soon when we do pre-sale. Coming up, we already have some unbelievable guests booked. Uh, I can't wait. The show is October 28th through 30th, so start making your trips, to, playing your trip to L.A. for the Halloween weekend. Uh, and you can follow us at, um, at Stanley Kamikaze, uh, and I'm at MyLud. Uh, and uh, on uh, the Twitterverse, and Keith Draylands <laughs> on Facebook and on uh, Instagram. And, uh, oh, and I, I just want to thank uh, the stream for hosting us here again. Uh, we love being a part of it. And if you guys enjoy it, tell your friends about the stream. Definitely tell them about Kamikaze, because it's all connected like the Marvel Universe. Uh, and definitely subscribe right now to the stream.tv. Uh, we got tons of amazing shows, just like this one. Uh, but this has been a lot of fun. Thank you guys for having me back to host the show. Uh, to our guests, you guys are amazing. We will see you guys next month on our road to Kamikaze 2016. Yes. Peace, absolutely. brothers. Thank you very Bye. much for tuning in. Thank you.